everybody's here for the mission. We want to make sure that NASA is advancing space exploration. It is inspiring. Here at Johnson, our robotics group is focused on human robot systems. All of the places that we'll be going for exploration will have really large time delays compared to what we experience here on Earth. That can be on the surface of the moon, where the time delay can be on the order of seconds. And then for Mars, it's between seven minutes and 42 minutes round trip. We really need to understand how to work with that time delay. Robotics is kind of the solution. Supervised autonomy is being able to interact with these robots remotely, but not having to control every aspect that they do. The more you can add that higher level of autonomy, the more you're gonna be able to get done. That's what we're really moving towards. Kim's contribution to what we call affordance templates is I think really critical to the success of robotics long-term. We wanted to create something that allowed the robot to use an object to complete a task. This affordance template for the valve actually tells the robot, here's how you use the valve to close the valve. So you're affording the robot the ability to complete this specific task. Kim's leadership is ensuring that we are developing the capabilities of software, robotics, and simulation to help NASA be successful. Everybody at NASA centers is just completely dedicated to this work and to advancing NASA's mission. It just was what I was born to do.